Hey guys, it's Hannah Shaw again. I'm an author and an illustrator and I make picture books and chapter books. This is my latest book, which is the first in a series about a unicorn pig called Unipiggle. The story is called Unicorn Muddle and there are more books coming soon. The stories are set in the magical kingdom of Twinkleland, where there are all sorts of magical creatures and characters. In each video, I'm going to show you how to draw some of these magical characters. This one shows you how to draw a pixie on a toadstool and a little fairy. For this draw along, you will need a drawing pencil, a drawing pen in black, You will also need A4 paper or you can print off the drawing guide. For your colours you can use pens, pencils, pastels or paint. And you'll need an eraser. Remember you can pause and rewind the video at any time if you make a mistake or I'm going too fast. Are you ready to draw? To draw this friendly pixie and fairy, you can either print off the drawing guide from my website or you can draw the whole thing from scratch. Get your pencils ready! First of all, you'll need to draw a semicircle for the toadstool and then an oval above that for the pixie's head, the neck and two ears. The pixie's body is a triangle shape, with one arm down and one arm up. Draw the pixie sitting on the toadstool with trousers like so and two boots, a curved pointy hat and the bottom of the toadstool. Now you can move on to the fairy so she has an oval head, a triangle shaped body, two curved arms at the front, her legs flying out behind her with the little boots. She's got big hair and she's carrying a wand. We need to do two wings at the top there. Now you can start to use a black pen to go over your drawing. So I'm starting with the ears, the face and the head, neck and body. Moving on to the arms where I'm going to draw little hands where I've drawn those circles. Okay, outlining the toadstool. and the pixie's hat. And I'm going to move on to the fairy before I put any more details on the pixie. So just going over the lines for her, making sure I add details like hands holding the wand. And her legs. Now I'm going to move on and draw an expression on the pixie's face. So I'm making this a very happy pixie. And the fairy too. She's happy today. I'm going to give a little details like eyelashes. Up to now I haven't done the boots of the pixie because I'm going to outline those in green. Or the hair of the fairy because I'm going to outline that in pink and also do her wings and her shoes in different colours too. Now you can rub out your drawing guide if you've done it in pencil and you can start to add different colours to your characters. My pixie's got green hair and a pink hat but you can choose whatever colours you like. Here I am adding some shading as well. Rosy cheeks. And I'm going to add some colour to my toadstool. I'm going to make that red and white and add some shading and, and highlights. Now adding some details to the fairy. Stripy legs. And a nice shiny wand. As well as some grass underneath the toadstool and a bit of shading to finish it off. And there we have it. The finished drawing. Please send me your magical pixie and fairy drawings on Instagram or Twitter. Super job everyone. There are more activities on my website and the Usborn website. Next time we'll be drawing trolls. Hmm. Bye bye.